Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. In today's video I'm going to be going through everything that I watched in the second week of April from the 8th to the 13th. Um, didn't see anything on the 14th on the Friday. Um, so yeah, I will get straight into it. The first film that I watched was a new film on Amazon Prime and it's called All the Old Knives. Um, this was an entertaining espionage thriller with great lead performances from both Chris Pine and Tandy Way Newton, who is quite big in the news at the moment of recording this video. Um, she was supposed to be in the new Magic Mike, but they fired her, I think, and she's now in rehab. Um, don't know why, I don't judge anyone, so I hope she gets well soon. And, but the film is gripping for its entirety. There are many twists, and whilst there are parts in the film like, towards the middle that did seem to drag a bit. Um, overall it was a very well paced story that kept me guessing right until the end. The cinematography was beautiful especially in like the current day because there was a lot of flashbacks um, in the restaurant and the whole atmosphere of the film was very tense. I really enjoyed this film and whilst it is slow in parts it is a great story with great acting and I gave all the old knives three and a half stars out of five. Next up, a new cinema release, and I went to watch Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Now, going into this, my expectations for this were quite lowered quite significantly, because I really didn't like the previous instalment. Um, however, I will say this is a vast improvement um, to the last one, and for me personally, is the best in the franchise so far. Uh, this is definitely the, the closest to any of the Harry Potter films that we've had of the three. Um, and is actually better than some of the Harry Potter films, I think. Um, Jude Law is definitely the standout in this, um, because it really does focus more on Dumbledore as opposed to focusing on Eddie Redmayne's Newt, like in the last two films. Um, at the heart of this story is um, basically the power of love, which we haven't really seen in this franchise before, and it really works in this film as a whole, um, and it just gives a very satisfying another level um, and it's just another satisfying entrance to the wizarding world. Um, this is sure to engross any Potterhead or film fan with its beautiful cinematography and score and its great story which although it sometimes can be quite dark is just great. It is a very pleasing watch and has made me look forward to see the next part in the story hopefully very soon. Well I say very soon hopefully they do another part because I think it's supposed to be so hopefully we won't have to wait too long for the next one. But I gave Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore 4.5 stars out of 5. Next up, first physical watch, Cloud Atlas. Um, now I had seen this bits of this film um, when it was first released but I had never watched it in its entirety. I really wanted to watch this film purely based on the cast and the cinematography which is beautifully showcased in the trailer. If you've not seen the film Watch the trailer, it doesn't really spoil anything, it's just a beautiful trailer. Um, this started off quite slow and it is a bit confusing. When you really get into it and you realise um, how beautiful this story actually is, it is fantastic. It may be quite dark in tone in places, but the meaning of this film is that when one door closes, another one opens in life, and that we each touch someone else's life in different ways that we cannot explain. Um, this is almost a masterpiece to me and it's definitely a film that is slept on by many people. I don't really hear a lot of people talk about it, not anymore so much anyway. Tom Hanks really shows how versatile of an actor he is and shows that he is one of the best actors of all time. Um, he is definitely one of the greats. And the rest of the cast also put in fantastic performances in each of their roles. Um, I'm thinking specifically Halle Berry, Hugh Grant, um, Ben Whishaw, um, Jim Sturgis, Jim Broadbent, um, there's loads, Susan Sarandon, um, I could go on and on, watch Hugo Weaving's in it as well, great cast. Um, it's a very unique film and it's definitely a visionary film and it's one that I can only urge people to check out because it is really eye-opening and it's just a really enjoyable watch. I gave Cloud Atlas 5 out of 5 stars. Next up we have Blue Valentine. Now this is a very intimate and emotional film and it is um, 
a true celebration of love and true love. Um, Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams are great in this and they have absolutely fantastic chemistry. Um, you really believe that they are truly in love with each other and the use of flashbacks to when they first met and then going back to the current day when they have a child and their marriage is failing oh it just makes this film even better the film really pulls your heart out and is one that doesn't have a happy ending but it has a true ending I'll say that is realistic and really fits the film overall it's a great film it's a very um, arty film it's not for everyone but I loved it I gave Blue Valentine 4 out of 5 stars we have three more to talk about next up Country Strong um, this is a film that had me interested because it stars Gwyneth Paltrow and she's become very selective with roles over the last 15 years I feel she hasn't done loads she's mainly just done Marvel films um, and in this she plays a country singer who has just been released from rehab um, because she's, um, has, she's an alcoholic basically um, and she is still struggling even though she's no longer in rehab um, the film starts really strong and the acting specifically from Gwyneth Paltrow is fantastic however this film has a very rushed and very unsatisfying ending that whilst not wholly ruining my overall enjoyment of the film did leave me quite disappointed with the outcome of the film the songs were great, really good original songs in this and overall it was an enjoyable watch I gave Country Strong 3 out of 5 stars Next up, I watched The Last Song, another Nicholas Sparks adaptation that I needed to watch and one that is definitely, I'll say, on the lower end of the list in terms of my enjoyment um, of his adaptations that I have watched. Miley Cyrus is not a very good actress. Um, why she was cast in this, I don't know, just didn't feel right. She didn't feel right in this film. Um, if it had been a different actress in this um, role, probably would have enjoyed it a lot more because she ruined it a bit um, the highlight of this film is Greg Kinnear who I really like and he plays her father who just wants to rebuild the relationship he once had with her um, whilst holding a secret um, it definitely had its moments in places that I enjoyed um, but it's not one that I would keep going back to often because as I say I'm not a fan of Miley Cyrus as an actress um, but for the most part it is still enjoyable for what it is and it's quite a nice love story. So I gave the last song 3 out of 5 stars. And then the final film I watched that week. That week being now. Last week from recording this I almost caught up. Um, was a new film on Netflix called The In-Between. Now if as you know I'm a fan of these types of films or romantic dramas. And from watching the trailer I got vibes of the film What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams. And whilst it's not really like excuse me, what really like that it still has the same themes to it, it is about how far you'll go for love um, and Joey King who is pretty, who was from memory a pretty good child actor has now become an adult actor and she has continued to show that she can act unlike other actors like Daniel Radcliffe who whilst was great in the Harry Potter films every single film I've seen him in since he's just not been very good um, but that's nothing to do with this film. Um, this is a sweet yet heartbreaking film and whilst not being anything too special and in parts feeling in a bit like a TV movie it was still really enjoyable despite the subject matter and I really liked it. I gave the in-between three and a half stars out of five. And that's it. So that is everything I watched in the second week of April. Um, quite a few stuff there. Let me know in the comments if there is any that you've seen out of them. Are there any that you're interested in watching? Just anything and everything. As you know, I get back to everyone that takes the time to leave me a comment. Because I really do appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And turn the notification bell on so you know when I have a new video uploaded onto the channel. And that's it. So until next time everyone, take care. Goodbye.